What's up, it's your boy Gaijo. We're back at it again with Paper Mario and the Thousand Door. Last time we left off, we beat the cool quiz thing and its cool clef things and got these stone keys. Uh, in the meantime, I walked back to the village, beat a few more enemies, got some more experience. Now we're close to level up. I also got a courage shell, uh, which we'll have to use at some point just to show off how it works. Uh, and now we're just kind of walking back. Yeah, we're walking back. Um, excuse me. It's it's Mario, right? Look, I, uh... See, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. Um, see, I was wondering... Would you... Oh, please go out with me. Please, I'm begging you. Sorry about that, see... My dad went off to Battle Hook Day a long time ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him bad. But this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, that's not true. Revenge is part of it, I guess. A, a big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. I, man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I have a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail... Well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong like my dad. I I know it will be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Yeah, sure. Come along. For real? No kidding? Yes, thank you so much. You won't regret this. Koops has joined your party. Koops, a primer. Yeah, Koops' ability is a primer. Press X to shoot out a shell. Use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. Wahoo! If you hold X, you can hold a shell in place after shooting it. After holding a shell in place, release X to fire the shell past Mario and attack. You can even hold Koop's shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. Walk over here. Ta-da! So remember, hold X to shoot the shell and hold it in one place. In battle, Koops can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all ground-bound enemies in one attack with his power shell. To swap your partner in the field, press Start and then go to the party menu. Yay. It's... it's good. It's all good. Okay, Mario, let's get going. I'm not gonna do the fucking card big boys all the time. Koops. Oh? Well, that's the person I'd actually rather have in my party. <laughs> She's neater looking. Oh, golly, um, hi, hi, Koopy, Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops. I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I, I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher. For you. For your Chloe. So I have to do this. For love. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to a dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a cryberry? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo, I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine, ignore me. So there you have her stubborn Koopa. I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I'll come back a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's it. I guess no turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Oh, jeez. So, this is actually a very cool ability. You know, we can use it to attack enemies in the field. Uh, we can use it to grab cool, distant items. So, let, let me actually show you it right now. Get away, get away, get away. Now, is that going to count as a jump? Or a Koopa shell? A jump. Well, that's fine. So I'm going to jump on this dude up here. Uh-oh. Oh, this ain't good. So check this out. Hold left. Uh, his stylish comes right after you beat it. Oh, thank god. He also have has one extra bit of defense. The downside is that if he gets jumped on by an enemy, not hit like that with a Goomba, but like actually jumped on and you don't defend against it, 
he will uh, actually get flipped over like a Koopa and not be able to act for like a turn or two. It's kind of wild. And level up! At which point we're going to get some more BP, I believe, right? Right? I think that's what we agree on. Wahoo! Yes, because we got FP last time. So let's get some BP. Yeah, there we go. Oh, boy. Yep, we got all that. And as for badges, we now have three to spend on whatever we'd like. Uh... Oh, actually. Uh, hold on. You'll see. There was an item over here that we could get full. Let's try this again. Ah. There we go. Hit him with the Koopa Shell. See, that doesn't. I don't even have to do the action command or anything like that. Shell toss. Now, you can, he actually has a second stylish in there, too, that you could do, but I'm not great at it, so, yeah. He's a good partner, it's just, I keep Goombella out uh, most of the time, because whenever we're encountering, like, a new area with new enemies and stuff like that, I want to be able to tattle. That said, yoink! Happy Heart, slowly refill HP during battle. And it only costs two. So actually, I don't think it's every turn, but I think it is close to every turn. I'm also going to get the power jump, just because. Now, the thing about the power jump as opposed to the power smash... Uh, actually, that's... I kind of want to get an FP drain going on, just because I have so... Well, actually, no, my, my FP is full. So I think that's a badge that maybe we can swap out, you know? Like, if, I, if my FP gets low, then I can put it on and actually start to try and use it and stuff. <clears throat> but until then, you know, I don't need to have it on. See, now that was actually a mistake. What I should have done was multi-bounced. Because now Koops can't do anything. He can only deal with uh, ground-bound enemies. No, just nothing, dude. See, now we leveled up enough that Goombas are only giving us one experience each. And once we get high enough level, they won't give any experience at all. Uh, the upside of that, uh, as opposed to the first Paper Mario game, is that every fight will give you at least one experience point. If you are so high level that the that the enemy won't be able to do anything to you, you know, it's... Or if you're high enough level that you won't get anything from the enemy, you'll still at least get one experience for doing the battle. <coughs> so now with our stones in place... It rolls away to reveal switches and an inscription. Here beginneth the path to dread Hooktail Castle. Weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hitteth both switches simultaneously. Addendum. If ye are a Petalburg Koopa, huzzah, your hold building maketh this chore a snap. I absolutely fucking adore. Now they just tell you the answer to the puzzle. Ta-da! Didn't the Grumps get stuck on that for like a while or something? Like a, like a while. Ta-da! Tis a pipe with another pipe behind it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have made the castle in the Dragon D D module bigger and not claimed, oh, it's a one shot where it actually went through like going to Schwamp. Uh, or Schwank Fortress or whatever, and doing like a small quiz or whatever the fuck, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Regardless, uh, I, I could have made it longer, I could have made it better than that, but it basically it's like, you go through the Mirkwood, you wait up in the town, you hear the play of the people, and then you just go straight to the fucking castle. And then the castle actually takes a long ass time to beat because there's so much shit in it. Hooktail Castle. Blah. <clears throat> oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories were all true. This place is terrifying. So here, there's a bridge that is too big for us to jump across. But there's also a little side ledge down here. Which we can follow down. 
jump across, jump across, jump across, and HP plus. So here's why increasing your BP is the best option of all. I don't need it right now because I don't have that much HP that I need to worry about, but you can basically turn one level's worth of BP into uh, a level of HP. So it's like, it's a worthless badge if you just would rather increase your hit points. Like, if you're getting BP just to increase your hit points and no other reason, then, you know, it's it's a weird badge to equip. But it just makes BP more versatile. Uh, same thing, they also have FP plus badges as well that do kind of the same thing. <clears throat> that said... No, uh, wrong button. Yeah, there we go. There is no such thing down this way, so don't worry about that. We're gonna go in though. Oh, we're gonna go. Oh, actually, first off, we're gonna immediately switch over to Gabella. Because we just see bones here that happen to look like a character model. Yep, just bones. Lots and lots of turtle bones. But is there anything up here that could potentially be useful for us? I don't think so, but let's check. No, it's just a it's just a warp pad to get back over. Oh well. Uh, that said, Koops is actually not beneficial to have out against uh, troopas and stuff like this. Oh, I was in the air. Rude. Okay. Um. Yeah, anyway, uh, tattle on this airborne guy. That's a Koopa paratrooper. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa trooper with wings. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, defense is 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a playing Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Whoop, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still whittle him around a bit. <laughs> so, yeah, what we're going to do actually here is multi-bounce. So now one guy's on the ground and one guy is useless. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, multi-bounce again. Just on the off chance that I happen to get this? Ah, uh, dang. Oh, well, whatever, it's fine. Head bulk. Okay, but yeah, anyway, what I was saying was, uh, Koops is not a good thing to have out against these dudes, because his attack will not knock them over. So you're still contending with, um, whoop, another one. So you're still contending with their defense and their ability to attack. So it's not actually that great to fight against them with. That said, I'm still getting two star points for, you know, each of these. So that's good. Ah, okay. There's a badge over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. So this is Power Bounce. That was me getting hit. Yep, yeah, okay. So Power Bounce is a badge that everyone loves except for me, because I'm really bad at it. <laughs> oh, no, multi-bounce. There you go. And head bonk for you. Uh, I was trying to do the, the special dodge or whatever. Uh, yeah, multi-bounce again. Lovely. And head bonk you. Mm, just normal mouse will be fine. Oh, bye. A normal one. You know, I should just use Sweet Treat at this point. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll use Sweet Treat. Show you what it does. You have to repeatedly tilt left to shoot hearts and flowers. But you have to be careful, you can't just go crazy with it. Ooh. Yeah, because poison mushrooms show up and they'll kind of, uh... Ooh! Oh, dang. Oh, well. Yeah, and they'll stun you for a time, you can't actually continue on getting more. But, we got enough to fully restore our hit points and... Uh, not our flower points, we got almost the way to restore our flower points. And now you can see what the stylish thing does. You get more star power here, which slowly fills up this rotating gauge. So watch this. By exceeding Ash commands and getting stylish points, you get to more of that. So you can see that it only takes four attacks of our cal caliber to fill us up again, which is pretty good. 
And we get a little bit just for beating the battle. <laughs> okay, that's sad. There was that Koopa paratrooper there. Yeah, we should fight it just because. I was in the air! Ugh, you nerd. Alright, well, just do a normal bounce on this guy. There, that gets him on the ground. Head bonk on this guy. They can't move, and... Okay, that, was, that wasn't even me trying to be special, that was me just failing. Lovely. Oh boy. Isn't it great? There's just so much cool stuff to do. And, yeah, we already have this thing filled back up, so... <laughs> it would be nice if Happy Heart was every turn, but, you know, just being occasionally is fine. Because, I mean, occasional healing is still healing, right? That said, I think that was all for this room. The castle that I gave my players was filled with just skeletons after skeletons, where if you wore a coat that happened to belong to... Oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh, no! If you happen to wear a coat that belonged to one of the guests of the old castle, the skeletons would be like, oh, you're one of our guests. But if you didn't, then they would attack you. Huh. These bones, they remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it. This is my dad. Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter, or at least his bones are. So, should I read it? Yeah, read it. Okay, I could do this. I'll read it. Um, I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck and can go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with Kerr and end in Igget. When I was a kid, I didn't get this. I Like, what starts with CR, has something in the middle, and ends with Icket? Cremin? Criminy? Icket? Cricket? It just says Cricket, dude. It just says Cricket. <laughs> Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must find that item. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinkier nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue riding. Already, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son. Colorado, I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son Colorado? Not Koops. Colorado is the explorer Koopa from the first game. So this is Colorado's dad. Last time I played this, I thought it was signed by Colorado, and I was like, oh, fuck, you just killed him off screen? Sick. <laughs> Savage. Oops, yeah, I guess this isn't my father's corpse after all, just someone else's father's corpse. If this is my father, I wonder if the pile of bones over there is my dad. We're switching over to Gambala again. Speaking of there being a weakness in the castle, that was also a thing that I had. There was a... Uh, Dragon Bane bow hidden in the castle in one of those black chests that I told you about before. And uh, it was the dragon's weakness because every time you would hit her with it, she would uh, take one point of strength damage. And as she took more and more strength damage, um, you know, she would get weaker and weaker and then easier to kill. That said, nothing weird about a blood skeleton. Arr, 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 arr. You clearly don't value your lives if you come to this castle to disturb us. This will go no farther, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. More example of the GameCube's prowess. Look how many models they can have on the screen. What's, or how many uh, instances of object or character or whatever. What's with these numb skulls? Ow! Logic, pushy, you're shoving me around, Mario. What should we do? So they're gonna slowly push you out? Unless, 
unless you hit him with the hammer. Mini boss time. Let's eat five of them because it's just all bones. So we're gonna start off with a tattle on red bones. <laughs> That's a red bones. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to 0 HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more... Yowzers. Uh, so actually, I'm going to use my tactic here to... Uh, what do I actually want to do? Power smash the dull bones, I guess. Dull bones only have one hit point. We can get a lot of experience off this fight <laughs> if we really try our best. However, they do a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna have you tattle the dull bones. That's a dull bones, sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa once. Max HP of 1, his attack is 2, and defense is 1. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements, too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. That said, uh, I'm going to swap to Koops. And hopefully Koops can help. Thank you for attacking Koops and not me. We're going to Power Shell here. And look how much experience we just got there. Uh, now we're going to Sweet Treat, because I'm running low on health. <laughs> Yowzers. Wow, good. Great job, Chris. Whatever. I need... I need knee health. And none of that actually... Oh, dang it. No Mario health is... Okay, there's all the Mario health. All at once, huh? Wow, that was it? Okay, well. At least we recovered however much we spent for that. We're going to defend, because I want to fight more of these. Uh, appeal. So when we appeal, we spend our turn basically just getting some star power. Ta-da! Good turns. Make some friends. So this guy's getting ready to throw a bone, so we have to hit him. We lose the audience member, but we don't get hit. So, huzzah. Shell toss. Okay, dude, you getting ready to do your thing? Make a make a make a friend. Just make a friend! Oh my god, dude. I implore you to please make a friend. There you go, you've made a friend, finally. Good lord. Is that so hard? Give me those three experience points, and I'm gonna defend again. New friend? Okay, you're just being a jerk at this point. Ugh, oh well. Anyway, yes, we get a bunch of experience for that. Heck yeah. You don't get experience if you knock him down and he gets back up. You only get experience when you defeat him. So, there's that. Uh, the room with the skeletons I was describing earlier in the D&D game uh, was just chock full of fucking skeletons, though. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. Speaking of, here's a way to deal with a lot of dudes. Ta-da! You see what I mean, though? This is great! This is what, like, they really want to show off that Koops can be super useful. And, new collectible! A Shine Sprite! Mysterious, powerful object. Collecting these will help! Oh uh, yeah, it will fucking help. God, I can't believe I just really just fucked that up, though. Um, yeah, we could just do one at a time. This will be fine. We could save three FP, because, you know, there's not four of them.
Ta-da! I just find you rude. That's all I'm saying is you're just, you're just rude. You're a rude guy. Give me some, give me some stuff. Ooh, 66. All right, 6669. That's, that was very good for the couple seconds that it lasted, yeah. Uh, that said, nothing we can do over here. But there is something we can do over here. Which is to say we can hit uh, this. We can do that. And nothing happens from that. Because it's kind of blocked off by a thing there. But we can jump on this. And as we do that, what we can do is get that out of the way. And I'm actually going to do this real quick, because I want to see something. Oh, that looks like a secret to me. Star piece. Yeet. <laughs> Rad. Okay, so that's it. We can go over here and hit that switch. Red switches can be hit multiple times. Blue switches are typically only hit once. Red switches are toggles. That's kind of what the, uh, the color denotes. Get us a key. Switch the staircase over again. The paper aesthetic is just so good. Now, it's weird because this is sticking out a bit, which makes me think that there's something behind it, but there's really not. Okay, we're already fucking 26 minutes in. Uh, how about next time? I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the next part of this castle, huh? <laughs> See you in a second. Peace.